Et bien sûr tout le monde, c'est XBSK, aujourd'hui on se retrouve pour la suite des aventures de Walking Dead, saison 2, épisode 4. Euh... Et, et, et. On se laisse ici, où est-ce que euh, Clémentine va se faire défoncer ses petites couettes face à Kenny Oui, elle va se faire défoncer littéralement les petites couettes. Non, c'est pas un spoil, je sais absolument pas ce qui va se passer, vous inquiétez pas. Donc voilà, donc je pense que ce sera peut-être l'épisode final aujourd'hui, donc on verra, on verra en fonction de, de votre avancée dans le jeu. Bon, comme d'habitude, je me tais, je vous laisse profiter et... I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck, Katya, Sarita. No peace, no rest. Kenny, you're not... you're not dead. We need you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I've done so great with everything else in my goddamn life. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true. You help me. All the time. I need you. Hmm. I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But, uh, thanks for saying that. Now, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Don't be stupid. It could be infected. Well? Oh shit! Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. And that means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. What should we do first, Kenny? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing, and blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah, you just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem. I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her, make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much, and she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. She's helped us so far. Yeah, no, you're right. Maybe it's nothing. Just something to think about. Okay, 
We're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. Maybe I should go with Jane. Better hurry and catch up then. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast and let's be careful. Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. You know, you don't seem... okay. Huh? Well, yeah. But who is okay? Let's just focus on this right now. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Check this out. This gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? Do you think you can pick the lock? I should be able to figure something out. Maybe this will work. A nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh... It wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement so they're safe. It's broken. Find anything? No, not even trash. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind, though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. I'll distract him so you can sneak up behind him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Hey. I'm 
just a kid. Please, don't hurt me. Do you understand me? Yes. I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially a little girl. Uh, a little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns. I swear to we you. We just need to make sure. Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry and that makes those things come. Please. Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends in the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are worry. Hey, we've got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need People that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must believe We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? Oh, no, I'm, I'm telling the truth. I swear upon my own life. I don't believe any of this. Medicine, Clementine. No, no, no. no. You cannot take those from me. I'm sorry, Arvo. We need these. You will wish you hadn't done this. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Jane, what are you doing? Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Taking some stupid kid stuff, like a bandit. We should go get everyone else. Yeah. Go bring those meds to the others and bring everybody back here. I'm gonna get this place opened, then we need to get moved in ASAP. Hey, any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from you in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. The deck might be a safe place we can stay tonight, where Rebecca could have the baby. At least, if we can't find something better. I guess that's something. I should check it out. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep. That's more than I can say for some. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... he seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. I used to think that 
that maybe all the horror hadn't gotten to you yet. But you watched your friend murder Carver, not just kill him, but Clem, you didn't even blink. Carver deserved what happened to him. He was a bad man. No question about that. I'm just hoping we don't become the same. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. I told you. You're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. Do we have what we need for the baby yet? Mike and Bonnie aren't back yet. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Everything Alvin did was for you and the baby. Back at Carver's. In the office. He stayed behind to stop the people chasing us. He died to keep us safe. Jesus. Of course. Of course he did. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? Alvin told me that he thinks the baby's going to be a girl. Oh, yeah? That big dummy never did have a sense for these things. I've got a feeling this one's a boy. You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ah, oh shit. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust him, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on him. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? Well, it's just a... a feeling. We found a place for Rebecca to have the baby. An observation deck with a gift shop. It's way up high and pretty safe from the wind. Oh, that's great. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. What? I just want to help. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I'll watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. I sure hope we can find something to take back. Me too. You think maybe they Empty. say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind. Souvenirs, huh? Looking for a keychain with your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. Ah, oh, good point. Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah. They're just for show. Be handy, though. 
also really loud. Good point. There are sure bins. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Maybe I could give it to Rebecca. That's a good idea. I'm sure she'll really appreciate it. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. It seems like you're with us now. That's what matters most. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh, we can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I guess it's better than nothing, though. Lee would have loved this place. Do you see anything good? Not so far, but let's give the place a good going over. Any luck? No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. and clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. I'm stuck. Okay, maybe I push from... Well, that happened. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, no problem. I'm so sorry about that, Clementine. We should have been more careful. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, that's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shelves were always full. We're gonna have to be conservative as hell. What do you mean? Nothing. Nothing. Just... That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! Come on, stay close. I just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like... I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I'm starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! 
Where is it? I think it went over there. There he is! He's coming your way. Block him! Oh, oh, shit! Shoot! Dang it! Not with the walkers out there. I'm even hungrier than I was before. How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, at least it was kind of fun. Yeah. Huh. I guess it was. Come on. Let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. You're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. I could do this all day. Shit! Shit! Oh, God! Breathe like I told you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Clem! Clementine! Shit! Walkers! How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? That was Luke. Kenny, we've got to do something. You just keep that baby safe. Kenny, we can't stay here. Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you. Good. Someone help me up. Oh, God, there's so many. Mike, the water. On it. Sarah, let's go. Jesus. Clem, I, I don't think he's okay. He's losing it. I mean, that, that isn't... He's doing it to protect us. Sure, but... Uh. Kenny! Damn it! about as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what... Clementine! G Jesus, Clem, it's just not... Um... What's going on? Well, uh... I mean... In here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here? Kenny, what's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know, you got a lot of nerve, Kenny. Rebecca's having the baby. Now? No! Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right over Shit. here. Uh, oh, God. There oh, God. you go. Just oh. rat it out. Uh, 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 we'll be fine. We're doing everything we can. I have pills. I think they'll help with the pain. What are they? Looks like Oxy. I want them. Wait, wait. Is that okay for a pregnant lady? Give me the fucking pills. Okay. They're coming up the stairs. Here. Uh, we should. You want to help? Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. Shit, that's a lot. We need everyone out here. I'm going outside. I'll help pull them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come. Here. We can't let them up here. There are too many of them. Shit! Keep shooting! They are not getting up here! Find something to block this gate! Help us! 
We can block the gate with this. I'll help. I'm coming. Ready? Oh shit! Holy fuck! What the fuck is going on out there? Get back! Get back! Oh shit! Jane! Sarah, hang on! Fuck! Fuck! Hurry! I can't hold on! Are you crazy? There's no way she's getting out of that. Pull me up. It's uh, suicide. Uh, we can't leave her without even trying. Just go! Okay! I can't! Help me! I'm trying! Way. You have to listen to me! She's right. Drop the whole deck. Drop the... Are you fucking crazy? How are we gonna do that? I don't know. Just look around. Ah! Ain't gonna work. It's too thick. Look! That'll work. We bust that, the whole thing comes down. Boost me. Closer! Clementine! Move it! Come on! I'm going as fast as I can! Watch it! Son of a bitch! he doing? He's perfect. Who's the perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? You are. That's right. You are. He looks like Alvin. You think so? Definitely. Thank you. <coughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Do you want to hold them? I don't know how. It's easy. Just keep him close and support his head. Shh, shh, 
There you go. You're natural. Look at you, like a big sister. <laughs> Here, let me take him. You both should rest. Especially you. When's the last time you slept, Kenny? Oh, about two years ago. I'm fine. Plus, somebody's got to watch you while Mama gets your beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to go. What about Luke? What about him? Aren't you guys... Look, Luke's a nice guy, but it's not like that. And it can't ever be like that. Oh. Well, that's it then. You know, Jamie, Sarah... I'm not gonna stick around and watch it happen to you two. You know the score. You're a smart kid. But I thought you believed in me. I do. But give it enough time and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, Remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. They'll make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. I owe these people everything. They've kept me safe, looked out for me. I wouldn't be here without them. Well, they can't keep you safe forever. No one is safe forever. Take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Thanks. Yeah. I, um... Uh, I gotta go. you'd be asleep by now. You okay? No. Well, I guess we all got stuff on our minds. <sighs> the temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore, see if we can find some place to scavenge. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. Sorry. I... Sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit. Childish? God damn it, Kenny. You know what? Just lay off. No, you put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two could roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. What do you want from me? Luke didn't do anything wrong. Not now, Clint. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer, and Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit. So forgive me for one to enjoy one moment of something else. Fine, but this baby, he's what matters now, got it? So get your shit Jenny, together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. 
We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. Whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa! What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days, at the least. We've got that baby formula. It won't help the rest of us. Now what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Luke's right. She needs to rest. We should wait a few days. Maybe that's for the best. We don't want to push Rebecca too hard. Just give me a day or two, Kenny. I'll be fine. This is a mistake. Look, we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. She's exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. We should have left right away, instead of waiting around. We could have found more food and been someplace warm days ago. We did the right thing. She was in no condition to move. She's worse now. We could still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up, okay? You're pushing them too hard. You're not helping anything by arguing. Well, don't forget you agreed with me about waiting to leave camp until today. Place to sit. Rebecca, let me take the baby. <sighs> He's okay. I've got him. No, you rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't Shh. being weird about it. Yeah, you kinda have been. Kenny knows what he's doing. He's been a dad before. That's not the part I was concerned about. What is this? Minas Lishna! Arvo? Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck. Before everyone else came. You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? He doesn't look like much. I don't trust him. Also, he might be mad at us. Everybody keep your eyes open. What's going on here, friend? You got people with you? Where are they? You're not out here on your own, are you? These are my friends. We stay hidden for safety. But you, we know. You're Clementine. Это они? Да. Это они. Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол, и что мы забираем все, что они имеют. Что ты хочешь, чтобы я взял? Откуда я знаю? Чтобы у их не было. What did your friend say? I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? 
and they want you and your friends to put down the guns so we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on. What the hell? Why get excited? No, you aren't taking anything from us. They're not telling me to ask. So what is Josh? I wish we could have met differently, Clementine. But this is how it has to be. This could be easy for you. Arvo, скажи, чтобы они опустили оружие. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. We have a baby. You have a baby with you? У них грудничковый ребенок. Если ты знаешь, что хорошо для тебя, просто вези оружие сейчас. И слишком много. Бурико, отойди. Drop that now, or I'm gonna fucking shoot it. I'll do it. Drop it. Drop it. Don't fucking don't move. I said don't move. Ты хочешь умереть? Не сбей меня. Ты думаешь, что я хороший мужчина? Бурико, Бурико, остановись. Опусти оружие. Тебе не за чего это делать. Стреляйте. Я не хочу умирать. Don't make me do it. Look at me. Do you hear me? I will kill you if I have to. No! Bon, ben, je pense que c'est terminé. Petite musique et tout, l'ambiance. Pas de, pas de truc qui arrive Bizarre. Bizarre, bizarre. Bon, ben. À mon avis, ils ont dû retirer les trucs à la fin. Je sais pas, je sais pas ce qu'ils ont fait avec les sous-titres, mais en tout cas, ils ont dû se merder quelque part là, parce que là, il y a plein qui s'affichent. <rire> Bon, mais vu qu'il y a plein qui s'affiche, ben on va discuter, hein. tout, sa tout simplement. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'on peut dire sur l'épisode 4 Eh ben je sais pas pour vous, honnêtement, mais je trouve que cet épisode 4 a repris beaucoup des mécaniques d'un ancien épisode, qui était dans la saison 1. Si vous vous rappelez notre amie de Jane là, la solitaire, elle vous a pas rappelé quelqu'un. Je sais pas, elle vous a pas rappelé quelqu'un Moi si, elle m'a rappelé quelqu'un. Celle avec son, son espèce de pic à glace là, machin là. Celle euh, qui avait filé le pic à glace à Lee pour qu'il puisse euh, se démerder. Et qui justement, elle aussi, elle avait une sœur. Euh, qui était malade dans le camp. Donc voilà, je sais pas si ça vous va rappeler quelque chose. Et moi ça m'a énormément fait rappeler ça. Donc voilà. Bon. Le fin, la fin est très cliffhanger, ce qui est sympathique. Mais voilà quoi, là... C'était un beau épisode quoi, c'était un beau épisode, de rien de transcendant. Parce que je trouve qu'ils ont trop, trop, trop pompé justement sur cette, cette, ce, cet épisode de la saison 1. Avec la fille euh, solitaire qui ne veut parler à personne, euh, qui à la fin se barre. Je, je trouvais que ça faisait, ça faisait ultra cliché finalement. Euh, surtout qu'ils l'ont déjà fait une fois, pourquoi leur faire une deuxième fois me direz-vous je ne sais pas. Euh, donc voilà, c'est un épisode euh, bon. Mais maintenant, on va attendre de voir ce que ça va donner pour la suite. Euh, je peux pas passer la cinématique Non, je peux rien passer. Bon, c'est pas grave. Bon, de toute façon, les loups. En tout cas, moi, j'espère que le principal, c'est que ça vous a plu. De là. Hein si ça vous a pas plu, je viens chez vous. Et je vous mets des fessées. Voilà. Enfin, vous me direz, vous êtes en droit de pas aimer aussi. Hein. Mais bon, voilà, j'espère en tout cas que le principal, c'est que ça vous ait plu. Moi, ça va. Pour l'instant, je reste quand même dans mon opinion que The Wolf Among Us, c'était quand même mieux, honnêtement. Euh, c'est pas pour vous, mais pour moi, c'est comme ça. Donc, allez, je vais arrêter d'ouvrir ma gueule. Je vais vous laisser ici. Prenez soin de vous. Pour ça, Kenron, n'oubliez pas d'avoir là. Ouh Attitude. Comme d'habitude, je serai pour au cas de chanson, que ça se dicton. Je vous laisse, je vous fais plein de tout partout et je vous dis à la prochaine pour une nouvelle vidéo. Ciao, bye et... Bouti bouti
Winter.